For the very first time, Apple is bringing battery management features to the Mac. This is something we saw on iOS a couple of years ago, back when they started throttling performance of iPhones due to older and unofficial batteries. Now we are seeing something similar on the Mac, but the only feature they are actually bringing over is the ability to manage charging to help prolong the lifetime of the battery. Let's take a look at it and see how it works. So this new feature is available on macOS Catalina starting on version 10.15.5. This only works on MacBooks, laptops, with a Thunderbolt 3 port. So if you have a 2015 MacBook Air, or if you have an iMac, this isn't gonna work. You have to have Catalina 15.5 and Thunderbolt 3 ports. So let's take a look at it. So inside of System Preferences, we can go to Energy Saver, and there's this new option called Battery Health. If you click on that, it will show you the battery condition, which is normal. This is not something new. You could actually figure out this information before if we go to About This Mac and then System Report and then Power. It will show you this battery has 133 cycles, normal condition. So that's nothing new. It just shows you it's normal right here. It doesn't even show you the cycle count. But the thing that's really new is battery health management. It's enabled by default when you update your Mac. And what this does is as your battery ages, peak capacity is reduced to extend battery lifespan. Essentially what this means is that it intelligently knows how you use the computer and how you charge it. If you plug in your computer at night and leave it charging overnight, it's going to not actually charge it for portions so that it's only charged right before you need it. It's not good to leave a battery fully charged and plugged in at 100% for an extended period of time. So it's going to help with that. It's going to intelligently know how you use the computer and what to do with charging. This will help hopefully extend the life of your battery as these cycles go on, the chemical composition of the battery does tend to degrade and you get less of a full charge each time you use the computer. Taking a look at iOS, it's something very similar. I'll show you the one feature they did bring over. If we go to settings and battery, we have all of this information here about how we charge our battery, how we use it, what apps we use. That's not something they did bring over, unfortunately. But under battery health, we can see our maximum capacity. Again, not something they brought over, which would have been cool, but you can do with other apps. But at the bottom is the one thing they did carry over for battery health management, and that is optimized battery charging. It's called something different, but it works basically the same way. It'll monitor how you use your device to charge it just enough so that it doesn't overcharge or stay plugged in for an extended period of time. So that's pretty much all. That is not a huge major update, but it is a welcome change to help improve battery life on some computers. Obviously these computers are pretty new since they have a Thunderbolt 3 port, so it's gonna be a little while until we see if this feature actually helps at all. But it is nice to see that they are doing a little bit to help preserve battery life, especially considering that some of these computers are pretty hard to change the battery on, so you don't want to have to go through that hassle. But either way, that is pretty much it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark, and I'll see you in the next one.